guys, my name's Michael. I'm here to talk to you all about the benefits of networking. So of course, other than pay, we've got to think of things that incentivize someone to leave work, to start work somewhere else, those sorts of things. One of the ideas we came up with was networks. Now of course, when we all think of networks, we think of social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, that sort of thing. But in a more business sense, it's much the same thing. It's about the people within your business, the people you work with, your colleagues, your managers, the bosses, those sorts of things. So when we think of networks within a business sense, there are three types agreed on by most people. Now, there is operational, which are your superiors, your management staff, people with power. You've got your personal. Personal is basically as it is. Your friends, referrals you can put on your CV, people you get along with. And of course you've got strategic, which is a combination on, of the two, but it's more dependent upon the situations. So when we think of the many benefits associated with leaving work, of course you can take your network that you have at the time, in your current workplace, to your new workplace. You can have those management referrals, you can have those personal referrals, and if the business is in the same industry, who knows, maybe you could be one to bridge the gap between those two businesses, create a collaboration of business. It's a very sought-after skill. Knowledge is a very important component of any modern business. So we've got to think, if you have a lot of people that you know, you're a very sought-after commodity, and that can really help your future employment prospects. But how does it benefit you? Of course, who doesn't like making new friends, new connections? Humans are very social animals. We like to get along well with people. It'd be a pretty dodgy working environment if you just sat in the corner the whole time and didn't interact with your colleagues. So that interaction, those personal connections are a very key component of every modern business in today's environment. So take that away when you think about, okay, I'm going to go get paid more. But think more importantly, is the pay the main reason? Are you going to get new friends? Are you Are going to take those connections with you, get those CV referrals, things like that? Thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Anastasia, and today I'll be covering the fixed versus the flexible benefit plans and other aspects of the potential benefits to leaving or joining an organisation. In retrospect, the advancement of an individual's career has drastically altered, especially in the sense of millennials. Now more than ever, we assume that millennials' loyalty and longevity to an organisation is decreasing compared to their counter baby boomer generation. When interviewed, it was compared that in the 5-10 to 10 year career plan, baby boomers were in fact more compliant in staying in an organisation than to leave where millennials were more flexible and adaptable to the new work environment and opportunities that would be their future endeavours. This is the perfect opportunity to provide benefit plans that are flexible and adaptable to the needs of the employees to ensure retainment and longevity for the employers. Flexible benefit plans are described as allowing employees a degree of choice in how best to configure their benefit package within a range of options made available voluntarily by the employer known as a cafeteria benefit plan. This can include for the employees exclusive access to various benefits, flexibility to select a benefit that suits them, intrinsic and extrinsic benefits, being able to change package due to circumstances, employers display competitive advantage compared to other organisations, retainment of high-performing employees with their correct benefit plans, cost reduced as these benefit plans are non-monetary, increased levels of motivation within their organisation and staff, and more productive employees who are more happier. The voluntary benefits open the opportunity for an employer to provide benefits that have no cost to the organisation and yet are enticing and engaging for employees. Corporate Social Responsibility, CSR, focuses on the organisation's environmental, social and community obligation. Employees seeking a company with a progressive CSR mission can be described as a motivator for key performance and general happiness within an organisation. As the benefit will correlate with their internal values and mindset, that means they will perform better than within a job and be able to network with more like-minded individuals, influencing clients and prospective employees alike. Integrating the CSR into a formal business strategy will assist organisations such as A&L, Sumon University and other corporations are making their CSR statement visible, especially seen through their webpage. This can be deemed as a branding strategy as they are ethically more desirable for clients and employees alike. Personal values. 
The personal values of an employee influences what their needs and wants are. The basis of benefits attracting employees to stay or leave for better opportunity targets what employees feel are most important to them. Employees' behaviours are guided by and activated by personal values. Millennials are an example of a generational focus that prioritises and expresses their values in the way they think and act more environmentally conscious and ethical as individuals. Millennials entering the workplace, meaning these needs will lead to an increase in employee morale and efficiency, as well as greater longer-term employee retention. Key areas of importance to the values are prioritising mental health and well-being, flexible work hours, and social networking. The extrinsic reward and the intrinsic rewards. The extrinsic rewards can be the physical rewards or services attained from the employer that can be a form or benefit to join an organisation incentivized. It can also have the incentive to be passed on to family and friends as an extension of the reward, such as insurance and benefit plans, gym memberships, free childcare as an extension. The intrinsic rewards for voluntary benefits can be described as the psychological and internal rewards gained from the verbal affirmation from their labours, team members or completed tasks. Other aspects of the intrinsic rewards can be gaining a new skill delivered by the organisation, such as a leadership session or training, team building skills, seminars, conferences as well. These are internally transformed as a non-monetary benefit that increases their skills that they can take with them into their future employee endeavours within the organisation or within other organisations as well. The following are the next few examples of organisations. Swimmer University is an example of why joining an organisation will be really beneficial compared to their benefit plans. For example, you can participate at Swimmen in regular staff and management development programs, on-site childcare, discounted gym memberships including the Hawthorne Aquatic and Leisure Centre, on-site health services and private health insurance discounts. Eventbrite is another organisation that has been known for their unique positioning of benefits. This can include the general health benefits and insurance, but also nap rooms, catered meals, arcade games. Pets are allowed in the office as a form of a motivator to increase employees' happiness and engagement within their work. And casual dress is reinforced as well, so there's no pressures to dress up or anything like that within the organisation. It's more of a relaxed atmosphere that concentrates on the work output. Another aspect to consider when you're joining an organisation is what are the benefits that will help you when making a decision whether to join or leave a company. Are these benefits something that you'll need in five years' time? Is there a flexible benefit plan that can be easily transferable? Are aligning the benefit practices with the organised strategy aligning with your personal values as an employer and as a human being working within the corporate industry or any industry, in fact? These benefits compare from Starbucks, McDonald's to a and L to all these other organisations really reflect on the employee's choice to progress their own skills and to make the best decisions for them at that time or in the nearby future. Thank you for listening today. I'll pass it on to Michael again and then we'll finish up with Kagan. Hey guys, Michael again. I want to touch on career advancement and career progression. Now, other than pay, this could be a huge motivating factor in whether or not you stay or move to a new employer. Already you've probably had a handful of jobs, each one hopefully more exciting than the last. Now we're at university at the moment, we're all doing our courses, we're all doing our planning for our future let's say. Now when it comes to developing a career we're going to have to think of a few really specific things. Our current employer, is there the opportunity to grow within that environment? Are they going to give you the chance to train, to develop your skill set, to progress up the ladder to go from, let's say, just a regular office clerk to being a, a manager, let's say? Or our future employer, potential future employer, do they offer a better alternative? Are they offering you a more senior position straight away based on your experiences, your references, things like that? And of course, our personal commitments. Do we have any plans on starting a family, our personal goals, aspirations, things like that? You know, for some, when we get into the older stages of our lives, thinking, planning retirement, you're not necessarily going to want to take a potentially more stressful job just because it's higher up on the ladder. 
Now, we need to consider the roles that individuals, organisations, social requirements, things like that play in our decision to expand in our career. Within the working environment, we need to diversify a CV. And expanding our career often leads to great references on a CV, great little things to put down the bottom saying, I did this for this long, I did this for this long. And a potential way to improve your career with a different employer versus a single employer. So a single employer, it's a great way to build connections with your management, your colleagues. People know you, people will trust you. You've already got that working relationship with them. There is the potential for training and development. If you ask your bosses, hey, you know, what's the what's the likelihood I can get to this position doing some training and such? And also there is a higher chance of promotions. Again, because people know you, people trust you, you've been at the business for a bit longer, you've got those connections to improve your career standing. Now, naturally, you're not going to stay in the one position forever. You're going to advance. But we need to think, when we advance, as I said, take into those key considerations. But it is a huge motivating factor in businesses today and for individuals to take into consideration. Am I going to be better off here? or where I am currently. Just a thing to take away. Thanks, guys. What are the benefits to joining a new company? There are a large amount of positives for employees wanting to join a new workplace that do not include money. These positives do, in fact, lead to great opportunities to improve employees' career. The benefits leading to employees joining new companies discussed are rewards and bonuses, internal promotion, personal values, and CSR. We will dive into detail and explain how these benefits influence and motivate employees joining new environments. Rewards Rewards can be defined as impartial and equitable. Rewards can be a material or financial expression of appreciation that usually occurs depending on employee performances. Non-financial rewards can have a large impact on motivating employees to perform, but also influence new employees on joining a new workplace. These awards do depend on the industry and employees' work, but here are a few examples. Company cars, movie tickets, free computer programs like Microsoft and Adobe applications, free and subsidized childcare, concert tickets, and many more examples. These awards are intended to include flex flexible work arrangement to make employees' lives easier, but also use as a motivational tool. A good reward system can be used as a tool to not only attract employees to join a company, but to ensure employees are improving their productivity to reach new levels in order to gain recognition and rewards. In terms of employees deciding to join a company, rewards is a powerful tool to motivate and ultimately influence these employees to join the business. Rewards not only motivate new employees to join the business, that they help benefit them to know that the business appreciates and treats their employees with kindness and respect. Businesses that treat employees well and offer awards can attract and influence employees at other workplaces to leave. This could be an influence and benefit for employees to leave their current workplaces with the opportunity to gain rewards elsewhere. Overall, rewards are a benefit that can help play a part in the decision for joining a new company for employees. Bonuses. Bonuses. Internal promotion. Internal promotion is a factor that can benefit employees joining a new workplace. Internal promotion is the process of recognising and recruiting hardworking individuals to step up in the new and more complex roles. Internal promotion can impact the way workers perform. It creates a positive atmosphere as employees will work hard and meet expectations in order to try and gain the promotion. There usually are not many vacancies for internal promotion, often so it can create a competitive environment. Examples of internal promotion can consist of employees gaining more senior roles at titles like manager, director, senior, VP, and many more. Ben beneficial for employees that companies promote within their business as it shows loyalty, advance advances, and improves one's career as it develops and furthers their role. It is said that internal promotion should be given for the most productive employee to a vacant managerial position. Overall, internal promotion is something that will benefit new employees to join a company. Internal promotion can benefit employees for leaving a business as well. This is the case as may many may leave and search for a workplace that does offer and implement promotion. This is the best chance to get promoted. 
This is the best way to help advance their career and overall create a good opportunity for their future. Internal promotion is a benefit for joining a new workforce. Extra rewards are a tool used by businesses to motivate employees to improve their productivity, an incentive that is usually given when employees meet a certain quota or target.